Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen out there. Welcome back to another craft video. Yes, yes, yes. First of all, I got to give an honor to God who's the head of my life. Can't do this life without him. And I hope you guys out there are blessed. So, I'm coming back with a craft video. And we're going to chit-chat while I'm crafting about what goes around, come around. So, hey, let's jump right into this video and get started now i don't know what i'm gonna craft about sometime when i sit down it just comes to me a lot of times let me see what page i'm going to do um this is not an amrs it's pretty maybe something like that Again, this is a writing page here. This book is almost full, guys. Let me see. Okay, so it'll be this page right here. So, yeah, we want to talk about a little something. And uh, I can explain to you guys why the Lord, how the Lord, and why the Lord blesses me the way he do. Mm-hmm. Sure can. But first of all, let's find some papers that uh, I want to craft with real quick. So, we're going to go into this one right here. I love these little um, cases to put your uh, stuff up with you know when you have a lot of craft stuff you have to uh kind of put it up i like that one if i want to use that i'm not for sure yet i don't know let's take out some macaroons some fish Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, like I say, let's chit chat because I know it's a lot of people out there wondering how the wicked keep getting away with what they getting away with. Now, the only thing I can tell you is what happens to me. And that is it. And how the Lord has blessed me. For the simple fact that me, myself, when somebody does me wrong, I kind of don't say nothing about it at all, to be honest. I let God take care of the situation for me, basically. Yes, I do. I don't know why I'm pulling out so many different papers because I may not even use all of those papers. All right. I think I got pulled out what I'm going to pull out, and I'm probably going to use maybe one or two of them. <laughs> and I will put those back. All righty, guys. Set that over to the side, and let's see what we're going to work with. I just need, hmm, I don't know how how this, this crafting is going to go today. So, let's just uh, try to put something together here. So, while I'm doing this, let's get started with our conversation. Let's have a conversation, guys. And, uh... Hopefully, you know, this could help somebody out there. Trust me, I know. Been there, done that. I have been a humble person basically all my life. You know, thanks to my mom, you know, she, she, you know, I was humble, you know, through her. And, um... A lot of people don't believe this, uh, that 
you have to, uh, when people start, uh, hang on, I'm trying to think, see what I want to do with this. Uh, when people start, you know, talking about you, putting your name out there, slandering your name, everything like so. Uh, don't worry about all that. I know it's people out there that be like, well, you know, I'm going to clap back. I'm going to do this. Nope. My advice to you, don't clap back. Don't say nothing to them at all. Let them talk about you. Let them laugh at you. Let them do what they want to do because, oh my goodness, God has something in store for them. But, see, now, this is the thing about it now. If you take it upon yourself to try to get back with these people, God can't bless you because you took it upon yourself to, uh, you trying to do God's work. This is why I say in my videos, don't feed the beast. Mm-hmm. Don't feed that beast. Let them laugh. Let them talk. Let them say what they want to say because those out there, whatever seeds that you planted in your lifetime, oh, you're going to reap what you sow. Me, myself, I even had to reap what I sold. I wasn't always perfect, guys. No, I wasn't. I had to read what I sold, too. I started planting good seeds, putting good seeds out there. And when I started putting good seeds out there, that's when the blessings started coming in. Yes, it is. God will take care of you long as you give that battle to him and let him fight that battle, you okay. But like I say, don't pick it up. Don't give it to God and then pick it back up. Because you got folks out there, the ones that's out there uh, gossiping about you, talking about you, uh, putting your name out there. Let them talk. Let them laugh. People sitting up, you know, uh, saying slick stuff in their videos about you. They do that too. Trust and believe they do that too. Thinking people don't know and understand who they talking about and what they saying. They do that too. That's why I say you never, never be just be careful what you say and do to folks. You got them out there. You got folks out there plant these bad seeds and thinking no no harm, no foul or come back to them. Oh my goodness. You'd be surprised. As they think they digging that ditch for you, they actually digging that ditch for themselves. And they the ones gonna fall dead in it. Not you. Mm-hmm. So this is why I always tell people, and this is what I used to tell my kids, let them laugh. Let them laugh. Let them talk. Mm-hmm. Let them do what they want to do. Don't clap back. I know it makes you mad. I know you want to say something back. I know you want to get back with them. But if you want God to fight this battle, you're going to have to stand still. And like the Lord say, you know that he is God. You stand still and know that God is God. Because, baby, God going to fix that thing for you. Many a times, I used to come home crying when I was younger. I can talk about this now because I'm, I'm older. I used to come home crying. You know, people bullied. People be bullying you. Those, you. You got those ones out there, them bullies. And then, like I say, they're wondering why things don't go uh, like it's supposed to. Oh, you supposed to sit back? Talk about folks, laugh at folks, even say stuff about f slick stuff in your videos about people and thinking they not going to get that. Everybody ain't stupid, people. Mm -hmm. Everybody ain't stupid. 
I just want to let the ones know. The ones that's out there, y'all, y'all good hearted folks. Don't say nothing back. Let God handle it. Give it to your father and let him handle it. His time is not our time. It may be a while before he handles it. Who knows? Because he's probably waiting on these people to repent. Everybody has a chance to repent. But quit feeding that beast. Mm -mm. Ain't no, ain't nothing good gonna come out of that. That's why I tell, I tell my daughter this day she'll be getting mad too. Don't say nothing back. Let them say and do what they're gonna do. Let people leave folks alone. Mm-hmm. Leave them alone. Let them laugh, you know. Laugh at what you got on, because people do that. Yes, they do. And now I just feel so sorry for people. I used to clap back to guys a while ago. I don't do that no more. And that's another thing. If you on YouTube, <laughs> you might as well get ready for uh, criticism, because people coming with it. And I tell everybody, when you make a YouTube channel, if you're not ready to get criticized, get off of YouTube. Trust and believe because you got some cruel people out here. They're not going to change their ways for you or nobody else. Trust me, they're going to be who they are, the children of Satan. So uh, you just sit back and, 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 and let them do what they do. And let God handle the rest. Mm-hmm. Let me tell y'all one thing. When you let God fight your battles, you will not go without nothing. You know, once you get yourself together, you give your life to the Lord and you repent for the things that you have done, you won't, wouldn't want for nothing because God going to take care of you. Let me tell you that. God is going to take care of his people. All the time. All the time. You won't go hungry. You won't go begging bread. You don't have to ask nobody for nothing. God know what you need before He before you even ask him. Mm -mm. And if you plant the right seeds, he's going to be right there for you. Because when I started planting, planting right seeds, never had another problem. Never had another problem. So this is why I tell y'all, do good to folks, help folks. You know, you see a need in somebody, you know, you can't help everybody. Let me, let me rephrase that. You can't help everybody because you got a lot of folks out here, you know, on drugs and they want money specifically for drugs. You can't help everybody. Mm -mm. So that is a no-no. Mm -mm. Not at all. That's that's the thing. That's the thing. Oh, I put that down too soon. That's the thing that you you want to uh, be careful. Can't help everybody. You sure can. And I hate that too. Left up to me. Hey, I tried my best to help everybody. You know, I've always been, you know, uh, had empathy for everybody. Today in this world, you don't have no more of that out here. Very few. You got people out here, you see. And, and you can see it. What, what folks don't know, you showing your real color as you get comfortable on YouTube, you showing who you are and don't even know it. You know, out out here, running around, cussing folks out, screaming at folks, hollering at folks when you out and about. Come on. That, that, that. When people do that, stay away from them. They crazy. They got problems. Mm-hmm.
I mean, tell them the kind of folks that clap back. I mean, really crap, clap back. And so do. Talk about you in a minute. Laugh at you in a minute. Don't think they not uh, going through something. Trust me. Half of them can't even sleep at night. Mm-hmm. Half of them can't sleep at night. Half of them have problems, you know, this and that. They ain't going to tell you about it. The only thing they going to tell you is, oh, I'm, you know, we're doing fine. They're doing okay, you know. And I'm going to tell you another thing, too. People know when you're miserable, and people can look at you and know when you're happy. So don't fool, no, don't be, uh, don't be fooling nobody. Uh, don't try to convince yourself. You all this and you not. Just be authentic. Be who you are. If you're not happy, you're not happy. And if you're happy, you're happy. Because people, you you can you, you can look in people's eyes and tell what's going on with them. You know, people will tell you anything over this camera. That's why you have to learn how to discern. Put that discernment in effect and discern. Because a lot of folks, like I say, I feel sorry for them. Really, truly, I do. <clears throat> I truly do. I'm like, oh my goodness. I don't say nothing. Even when I was talking to my friends, you know, what little friends I do have. And I tell my, my girlfriend, she said, she said, girl, I'm all right. No, you're not. I can look at you and tell. I can listen at your voice and tell. Your body language, I'm not reading what you're saying. I'm reading your body. And your body is telling me you is very unhappy about what I do not know. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Those kind of folks, pray for them, people. Pray for them. They need all the prayer they can get. All the prayer they can get. Because I'm going to tell you, everybody, well, how you doing this and how you doing that? And God ain't never let me down. When I started planting the right seeds, my father ain't never let me down. Not one time. Not one time. And I'm glad I told my children that. People going to, they're going to reap what they sow. Just don't say nothing to them. Let them do them. Let them laugh if, if that's what they may do. Let them, you know, have their little fame. You know, if you have to walk away, put your head down and walk away. Do that. Don't don't clap back. Oh, that looked like it's going to tear. And I'm not going to be able to get that down. All right. I have to do it this way. And those people that laugh and talked about my children, huh, they ain't laughing and talking about them now, for sure, at all. <laughs> My children is the one that's helping them now. Ain't that something? Ain't that a surprise? <laughs> My own children is the ones that's helping them. Wow. And I always told my kids, don't ever hold no animosity towards them people. You pray for them people because they know not what they do. Them same ones laughed at you. Them same ones now coming to you for help. Never thought that would happen. They would have to come to you for help. Wow. That is something. That is something. Now that I done laid my base, let me see what else I'm going to do. But basically, just a little, a little short video. Plant good seeds, guys. Put good seeds out there because... Uh, uh-uh, uh, there's a lot of folks in this, uh, day and age now, they are, 
there's no love out there. I put it that way. There's no love out there. I don't know what's going on with the folks out there, but there's no love out there. People don't care for nobody. They really, truly don't. Everybody is out for what they can get. And that's it. It's all about money. That's what it's all about out there is money. Mm -hmm. Be careful. Be very careful. Of your friends. Who you hang around with. Because them same people, when you walk away from them, they talking about you behind your back. They laughing at you. They got something crazy to say. All the time. Don't make no sense. Mm-mm. I kind of feel, I kind of feel bad for them, actually. Yes, I do. Just trying to see what I can do with this page here for us people. Is concerned here. Let's see. So just be careful, guys. Watch what you say to people. Watch what you do. Uh, just be careful. Don't let nobody bring you down. You keep your head up. Let them say what they're gonna say, and you keep moving on. Just act like you ain't you ain't heard nothing they said. That's all you gotta do. I know it hurts. Believe me, I know it hurts, and you wanna clap back. But whatever you do, don't clap back. Because once you start clapping back, then you took back on. You didn't give it to God. You took that back on. Now it's out of God's hand. Now you have to deal with that thing. Don't clap back. Everybody that, uh, what I went through in my lifetime, I've never clapped back. When I was younger, yes. Yes, I did clap back. <laughs> All the time. And I, le I had to learn that was a lesson to be learned. It was a, a a valuable lesson to be learned. All right, I think I found the people I want. Let's see. All right, peoples, we are back. I'm going to kind of set these two ladies right here on the side. I don't know if I want to use them right now. So I'm going to look. Take one of these books because so that base is so pretty that I'm going to go in one of my sticker books and see what I can find. That's what I'm going to do. So while I'm looking through this book, let's go back into our conversation just to let you know, to let you guys know that. Uh, Like I said before, you keep your head up. Don't feed that beast. Whatever you do, you try not to feed that beast. I know we human. I know we in the flesh. Yes, we are. But, guys got to realize one thing. Yes, it's going to be hard. And this is where you ask God to come in and help you. Help you. To deal with this because forgiveness is not for them that forgiveness is for you you have to forgive them people that said things about you you got to forgive them no matter what happens and then once you forgive them now you got to forgive yourself 
Mm -hmm. A lot of people have problems forgiving themselves. <laughs> they really do, because I know I did. I had a big problem forgiving myself. Now, hey, I'm good now. God had to come in and help me with that thing. You know, everything that I, you know, done when I was younger, you know, a lot of people I did go back and apologize to. That's another thing. You, you may have to do that. You may have to go back and apologize to the peoples that you hurt. Because we also done hurt people too. You got to go apologize to them people. Get that thing off of you. And let God deal with you. Help you. Let God help you with that. Sometime forgiveness, uh, you know, sometime it takes time. Who knows? I know it took some time with me. I know that for a fact. God had to work with me on that thing about forgiveness. Yes, he did. And I'm not ashamed to say it. It's, it's, it's a hard walk, walking that narrow road. Yes, it is. But I tell you this, it's worth every bit of it. It's worth every single bit of it. And I don't care what nobody say, nobody do. Hmm. I love these little sticker books, guys. <laughs> But uh, y'all just, just be careful. That's something you have to work on, too. You know, work on the flush, the fat flush, flesh. <laughs> work on, you got to work on yourself. Don't get out there hollering at folks and, and, and cussing folks out and going off on people for no apparent reason. People, they, you know, you, mm -mm. and then you got those folks, people's ain't doing nothing to them. They just, you just got evil folks just got to uh, say something about them. For what? Why? Why? You ain't got good, nothing good to say about somebody. Don't say nothing at all. That's how I look at that thing. Don't say nothing at all. And if you got a problem with somebody, you go home and you, you get on your knees and you pray God, pray about it and ask God to help you. Ask the Lord to help you with that, that situation. Because we are not perfect. We are far from it. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We're far from it. I might need this page. I'm not for sure yet. But you just keep your head up. You keep that head up. And you ask God to help you. Now, these are some beautiful stickers. Because you won't be able to see the other ladies that I had. So, I'm going to use these flower stickers. Uh, see, can I get these put down? Yeah. I'm not going to be before you too long. Let me see. I kind of want her right there. And this right here. Let me see. Can I get these stickers off of here? Because sometimes... I have to go off and, and peel the stickers off because, okay, these are the clear stickers right here. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. But yeah, guys, hold your composure. Let God fight your battles for you. Don't go and, don't go and clap back. And watch how God come in and bless you. You know, you give your life to God, repent, repent, and let God uh, deal with them. You stand back. 
You give it to the Lord. Let God fight your battles for you. Mm-hmm. I do not like that white around there because it'll be looking so weird. So I'm going to cut this off. The stickers that I'm going to be using, I probably have to go and cut the uh, white from around all of them. Oh, I don't want to cut her hair off. <laughs> but uh, y'all just keep y'all keep your head up out there. And for those, you know, single parents, I'm going to tell y'all a little story. And this is a true story because this is what happened to me. You know, my son that I told you guys about had got in trouble. And this person did not want me to be there for my son at all. I wouldn't do nothing for him. I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't do that. I'm like, wow. So that's the type of mother you are. You will give up on your child. And I tell a lot of people this when I'm out here doing God's work. And I talk to a lot of single parents. I tell them, don't ever give up on your children. And the reason why I say that is because God did not give up on us. No, he didn't. If God would have gave up on us, we would be in trouble. We would be in deep trouble. And y'all know what I'm talking about. I am not trying to be going down there burning the no hell fire because I want it to be selfish. Mm -mm. It's not even worth it, folks. It's not worth it. It's not worth being selfish at all. So don't be selfish. That was my child. I'm going to be there for my child. I don't care who you are. I don't care how bad he was. Uh-uh. I'm going to be there for my child. You was something else. And if I would have gave up on my child, I wouldn't be seeing the results that I'm seeing now. My son is flourishing like never before. Hmm. Like never before. His girlfriend would always tell me, you can't say nothing about his mama because as soon as you say something about his mama, he jumping on you. He jumping down your throat. And I be trying to tell that boy, you know, quit clapping back, boy. <laughs> but the Lord has blessed them children so to where, you know, hey, like I say, they paying the type of rent for their houses right now with option to buy that I wouldn't have never been able to pay. Mm-mm. We wasn't making, our kids making more money than we ever made before. They sure are. Oh, no. Mm-mm. And I ain't talking about no thousand, no two hundred, two two thousand dollars. I put it this way: they paying over two thousand dollars a month. I'm like, wow, ain't no way, ain't no way. How do y'all do it? <laughs> mm mm. But like I say, if I would have gave up on my child, he wouldn't have been, he wouldn't be where he's at today. I know you get tired. I know you just want to give up. But that is blood of your blood and bone of your bone. And 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 you going to just give up on them? Mm -hmm. You going to give up on your child and then you expect God to bless you? To look out for you? It don't work that way. Just think about it. If God would have gave up on us and didn't have patience, where would we be at today? Hmm. Think about that. You can barely see them tulips. I should have put that on white paper. 
That's what I should have did. I knew I probably wasn't going to use all these stickers. But yeah, guys. Just keep your head up. Never give up. Single parents, I'm telling you, never give up on your children. I know they may call you out your name. I know they may do this. You give that thing to God. You look up and say, God, take this battle. I can't handle it no more. Mm-hmm. You give it to God. It's your enough. Give it to the Lord. Don't ever give up on your babies. Them your babies. You you brought them babies in the world. Mm -mm. No, don't do that. Man, I put that down too fast. Let's see what I can do with this. I can't put it over her face. That won't be right. Let me see. Can I take her up a little bit? See what she come up without tearing. Uh-oh, look like she's going to tear a little bit. We'll see. I might have to put some glue on her. What if I can get her up without tearing? I'll be all right. I think we probably did it, guys. I want to put it behind. Well, got to take her up a little bit more here. But yeah, folks, I know it's a lot, you know, to go around, you know, especially for the single parents out there. I know you're struggling and I know it's hard, but you can make it. As long as you got God the Father on your side, you can make it. And like I say, let the peoples laugh. Let the peoples talk about you. Let them talk. God got you back. You just don't know it right now. But he got you. Put a little glue on the back of that. And stick her back down like that. See this piece right here. Put it right here. But y'all, like I say, just be careful and always remember just don't clap back. Don't feed that beast whatsoever you do. Do not feed. Try your hardest not to feed the beast. That's how I put it. Try your hardest not to feed the beast. <laughs> yeah. That's how I put that. And you hold your head up high. And you let God fight your battles. And give it to the Lord. Man, look like this one don't want to come off now. Alright, there we go. Just give it to the Lord. Everything will be okay. That is so true. Let's take this one off. Hey, this little pokey thing right here is helping pretty much taking these stickers off of here. Hmm. I'm not quick with these stickers. I'm quick with the washi tape stickers, but I'm not quick with these stickers right here. Come on, I see you. It's a little peak right there. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, just keep your head up. And trust me. God will be there and take care of you and supply all your needs and everything. Like I said, them same folks that dog my children out, the same people my children is helping to this day. To this day. And that is something else. But I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. 
Okay, I'm going to take the stickers off of these, be back, and I'm, we're going to put the words on this, and we're going to be done, so stay tuned. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I done found my words, pulled them out, and I am going to take some off of here. We're going to put some words down, and then we're going to call it. This is just the beginning. <laughs> That's cute. Yes, yes, yes. So that's all right. Let's put these down. Let's put this one up here. But guys, one thing about it, whatever you guys do, you don't have to take my advice. Hey, it's just an opinion. Uh, but one thing I will tell you, quit feeding that beast. Give it to God. Let him fight your battles. When you let God fight your battles, things will start looking up for you. Sure will. That I can say because it, I went through the same Thing. Quit clapping back. Quit talking about folks. You know, quit uh, assuming things. Because we can do a lot of that. We can assume a lot of things about folks. And sometimes it's not even that, to be honest. It's not that at all. Up. And here we go. A crafting and a chit chat video. But like I always tell you guys, keep your head up, you stay strong, and you keep the faith. That's right. And you stay safe out. Stay safe out there. And always remember, pray for your enemies. Pray for the people that talk about you. Pray for pray for everybody. Because guess what, guys? They don't even know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So pray for them. When you get on your knees tonight, if you got somebody, pray for one of your enemies tonight. And watch how God come in and start blessing you. All right, guys, I will see you and connect with you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.